Off a day. I'm Chef Peter Duenas of Mescla Restaurants, and you're watching Food Obsession. just arrived in New Orleans, Louisiana, and we're here to compete in the Great American Seafood Cook-Off. I'm here with a bunch of chefs. I got Chef Leland Fang, Chef Ray DeSala, got Chef J.R. Taga, and I got the Guam Barbecue Master, Joe Okada from the Guam Barbecue Company. And while we're here, we're also hoping to try out some of the good local hot spots of Cajun cuisine. Stay tuned. Just got checked into our hotel. We're at a place called Mulats. It's our first night here, and we gotta do it Cajun style. What a great way to start our journey here in New Orleans. Some frog legs, some alligator, some gumbo, some etouffee. Mwah, delicious eats. Got the competition coming up in a couple days, but I can't wait for the culinary delights along the way. Fresh Louisiana lump crab meat. We just came from the grocery store and we're having breakfast right in the parking lot. Sweet lump blue crab meat. It just needs a little wasabi. Uh -huh. In the cocktail. <laughs> Had to check out the New Orleans favorite beignets. We're here at New Orleans Coffee and Beignet Company and we got some freshly fried beignets. Today we decided to stop in to Willie May Scotch House, opened in 1957 and famous for their fried chicken. 
This is something the boys and I have been wanting to try out for a long time. We're here. We're super excited. I can't wait for some crispy fried chicken. Oh, look at that. Cornbread. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Got our fried chicken. Golden, crispy. I gotta stop talking now. Mm. Mm. So good. The chicken is juicy. You have that crispy, juicy contrast. That's gotta be one of the best fried chicken meals I've ever had in my life. Tell you what, time to go back and take a nap. <laughs> Everybody here looks pretty sleepy. <laughs> Competition day is here. The Great American Seafood Cook-Off is about to begin. We have one hour to cook a main course for seven judges. It's gonna be crazy, but it's about to go down. So let's go. So may the best man or woman win today. And uh, we got some tough competition. So good luck to everyone. God bless you. Thank you, you Dan, you wanna say a couple of words? It's great fun for us to have this. It's part of our uh, biggest event for the Restaurant Association each year. And what we really like to do is see these great, talented chefs create these amazing dishes. So we know we have someone who's already done it and been the king of our seafood before and uh, continues to do great in the industry, but we're glad you're all here and we look forward to seeing the competition. Thanks. Thank you, Stan. So, yeah, what a great group of chefs we have this year. 17 chefs, but also our judges. We want to recognize our judges. So if I could just get y'all up here. Uh, Victoria Jordan Rodriguez from the James Beard Foundation. Yeah, Christian Bryan from Garden Gun Magazine. This is Ann McBride from the Culinary Institute of America. We have Arnold Mitch, Food Network competitor, great guy, talented chef. Slate Rushing, multi-time James Beard Best Chef South finalist and a really cool upcoming project. And then uh, Dean Sims. So these are the judges that will be tasting your dishes. These are the people that are going to want to hear about why you should be king or queen of American seafood. So be sure to wow them with your dish and your personality and your passion for seafood. All right, I'm here with Chef Peter Dunias. You know, Chef Peter is the first chef from Guam ever to compete at the Great American Seafood Cook-Off and the first from a territory to be here with us. Y'all give him a hand for that. All right. Come on, Peter. What's up, man? Corporate chef and owner of Mescla Enterprises that includes four restaurants throughout Guam. Wow, man. That's crazy. Multi That's unit. Yep. Come on, Peter. That's a lot of work, baby. This is going to be easy, man. He also hosts uh, a TV show called Food Obsessions. And he still finds time to serve as the president of the Micronesia Chefs Association. Jeez. What's the population in Guam? They gotta all be like cheering you on right now. <laughs> well, Guam's got about 200,000 people there. Definitely, it's a, it's a big thing for us to be here. It's an honor, and we're happy to be a part of this. And we're excited. We love New Orleans. And we love seafood. We're excited that you're just as excited as you are to be here. We're excited that y'all are here. We wish you well. You know, and thanks. And come back every year. We'd love to have Guam participate in this cook off every year. Thank you so much. So, half a day. I'm uh, Peter Duenas. And today I prepared for you one of the iconic fish on Guam parrotfish. It's the most delicate, fatty, flaky, white fish that you could find. Um, I've crusted it with a brackish water prawn hash. It's served over a basil lace sweet potato cake and a, cra a mangrove crab and corn bisque. Please enjoy and thank you for having me. Wow. All right, uh, Lieutenant Governor, we couldn't do it without him. He's got a couple words he wants to say. I just want to thank all the chefs, the fans that have come with them for coming here and making this uh, event special. And no matter who wins, 
There are no losers here today. Incredible shouts from all over the country. Let's give them all a great round of applause. Thank y'all very much. Wow. Congratulations, wow. Congratulations, fellas. Wow. wow. All right, here we go. We got second place. Chef Jarrell Pierce from Colorado. Right. Yeah. Top two. Are y'all ready for this? So excited to have you real quick. I know you got a crew here with you. You want to introduce them, man? Because I know, I, I, I know, look, they've been supporting you the whole way, baby. Who you got here with you, man? Well, first of all, my uh, sous chef is uh, Chef J.R. Taga. Woo! And uh, I've got my wife here, Monica. I've got yeah. Chef uh, yeah. 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 I've got Joe Okada, who is the Guam barbecue master. And I've got Chef Ray Gasol. And there's uh, quite a few people I see that came from here that are from Guam and live uh, abroad here in the mainland, so came out to show some support. So nice, go ahead, man. Well, Chef Peter, congratulations, man. Good job. Great man. job. Wow. Wow. Thank wow. you so much. Wow. Great American seafood cook-off right here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Amazing. We're super happy to bring home third place for Guam. It's definitely one for the books, and we're super proud. Right on, yeah. Right. right on. Yeah. The Great American Seafood Cook-Off. What an amazing experience for us. And to top it off, we were in New Orleans, Louisiana, home of some of the best seafood in the country. We had an amazing experience, lots of great food. People were awesome. And today, I'm gonna share a couple of simple recipes with you. First off, the third place winner, a shrimp hash crusted parrot fish served over a basil lace sweet potato croquette and a crab and corn bisque. The second dish, I'm gonna do crispy southern style fried chicken with red beans and rice. Let's do this. So I'm gonna start off with our red beans and rice. We got a hot pan, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I have some andouille sausage, some spicy andouille sausage. Gotta render that sausage a little bit. The fat's coming out, I can smell all of those flavors coming out of that sausage. Add a little bit of garlic. And some onion. Now red beans can be vegetarian. And this is my own little kick. I'm throwing in some andouille sausage. I've got some red beans that I've soaked overnight. I'm gonna add some of the beans to the pot. I'm gonna add some water. Got some Creole seasoning. Salt, pepper, give that a stir. And that's gonna cook for quite some time, so I'm gonna set that off on the side and we'll begin working on our other dishes. Now I'm gonna work on our shrimp hash crusted parrot fish. I've got a five ounce parrot fish filet. I've got some shrimp that I've already chopped up and minced. So I'm gonna just add this to the bowl. We're gonna go ahead and make our hash. And hash is just kind of a nickname I would give to this because it's a shrimp farce. So it's, you know, it's chopped up stuff. So I've got some water chestnuts that we've chopped up as well. I've got some scallions, some ginger. I'm gonna season this up with some salt and pepper. Give that a mix. Okay, so that's done. We're gonna season our fish and crust it. So we're just gonna season with salt and pepper. Got the shrimp hash. Place a nice, healthy portion on top. 
and we're just gonna press it down firmly. And this is a twice cooked parrot fish. We're gonna sear that for about 30 seconds on each side. Set this off on the side and we'll finish this in a steamer right before we're gonna serve it. So now we're gonna work on our crab and corn bisque. We've got a hot pot, I'm gonna add some oil. Got some minced onions. I'm gonna add in our fresh corn kernels that we cut off the cob. I'm gonna add our seafood stock. I've got some seafood stock that I've reduced down by 50%, so this is a very rich seafood stock. I'm gonna add some Anchor Heavy Cream. And we're gonna allow that to uh, reduce down again and slightly thicken until it's nappy or like sticks to a spoon. And we're also gonna add in some lump crab meat. And I'm saving some of the crab meat because I'm gonna saute this up with some garlic, some onions and some parsley and some butter. And that's also gonna be used to decorate the plate. And I've got half chickens that I've already seasoned. We're doing a dry brine and it's basically some salt, some sugar, some Creole seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder. I've seasoned this yesterday, so this has been sitting for a full day. Now, minimum I would recommend would be 12 hours. So we've got some buttermilk. We're gonna dip the chicken in the buttermilk. We don't need to season the buttermilk. We just wanna coat each piece of chicken in the flour and let that stick. Okay, so now we gave some time. You can see the flour is sticking, sticking to that buttermilk coating. And that's what you want. That's what you want to see, definitely. We'll finish off our crab and corn bisque. We'll get working on our sweet potato croquette and We'll check on our red beans and rice for this juicy, crispy fried chicken. That's got a really nice consistency there. Oh yeah. So now I'm gonna add in some coconut cream, Chamorro style, island style. Coconut cream and coconut milk makes everything taste good. Give it a taste. Talk about crab flavor. Mm. Some sweet potato vang tips and leaves. That's gonna be our vegetable for the parrotfish. Chicken's ready. Oh yeah. And to finish off our beans, I'm gonna add in my favorite hot sauce, Tabasco, to give it that extra kick. All right, let's start plating. Okay, so we've got our basil lace sweet potato cake. Got the crab and corn bisque that I'm gonna pour around at the base for the sauce. And we like to go heavy on the sauce. We've got these sweet potato vine tips and leaves. We've got our parrotfish, we'll place that on top. And we got the sauteed crab meat, the lump crab meat. Put that on the plate. To finish it off, I have a spicy truffle oil. We're just gonna drizzle around the, the plate. I'm gonna finish it off with some microgreens. And we'll get started on our fried chicken. We got our fried chicken, crispy buttermilk fried chicken. Oh man. And we have our red beans and rice. 
This is exactly how I like to eat the fried chicken over there in New Orleans. This rice smothered with red beans. So there you have it, our two specials for the month. We have our southern style crispy fried chicken with red beans and rice. And we have our third place winner of the Great American Seafood Cook-Off, a shrimp hash crusted parrotfish with a basil lace sweet potato croquette and a crab and corn bisque. Oops, and a bonus, a classic style beignets. Thank you, Chef Lydia. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Food Obsession. Peace. Oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, this red beans and rice. Mm. What do you think of that, Liv? Oh my God. No, you only get one, though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't one eyeball the next one. One and a half. <laughs> Ooh, this is spicy. I think I put too much Tabasco.